What's up guys, we're on here. This time on 3D Nerd Stop, we're gonna create a sign to put on a cruise ship cabin door. And it spins. All right guys, here you go. This is the model we're gonna do this week. Um, as you can see, this is a pretty simple model. It is a door sign for a cruise ship um, if you've never taken a cruise before, uh, the cruise door, the cabin, the ceilings, everything in a cruise room is made of metal. So you can use magnets to hang anything you want up inside your cabin, on your door, stuff like that. So magnets are really nice options. So the way this sign works is that we start with the backing. You can see there are four places to put magnets. That way you can put the four magnets on there and when you stick it to the door, it should stay in place. All right, we have a little tab up here which interacts with our center gear. What this does is make it so you can only spin it one direction. The other thing it does is makes it click. So if you're in your cabin and someone comes by and starts messing with your sign, you can hear it through the door. At least that's the concept behind it. And you do have a choice of putting three or four sayings on the disc. Uh, if you want to do three, you would use this cover. And if you want to do four, you would use this cover, which has a quarter pie piece cut out or a third pie piece cut out, depending on how many sayings you're going to go with. All right, guys, in order to export the model, the first thing I would do is turn off all the models. You're not going to export at that point. So in this case, I'm only going to export the back to start with. So I turn off the spinner and the set, then the cover. I go to make 3D print, select the model I want to export. Down here it says print utility. I'm going to use mesh mixer. It's the one I prefer. I'm going to say okay. It's going to take it a second. It is going to open it up in mesh mixer. As you can see here it is. I don't worry about how mesh mixer orients it in here. It doesn't really matter. I can reorient it when I import the model. So I'm going to go to file export. I would surf to where I want to save it to. Come down here and pick STL binary or ASCII. It's your choice. I usually pick binary. Name the file whatever you want to and save it. Okay, after you've saved it, <clears throat> and then you can cancel out of that. You don't need to save the mesh mixer file because you have the original drawing. You can always regenerate it. Then you can switch over to Cura, import the file. And as you can see, it oriented it the same in here as it was in mesh mixer. But I can really easily grab it, rotate it. Lay it down flat, and voila, there you go, you have it. Now for the settings I used to print all of these out on, and I printed the, the face, the center wheel, all of it, all with these settings. I did a layer height of 2, shell thickness of 8, top and bottom thickness of 8, a fill density of 20, print speed of 65, and uh, print temperature of 200, and bed temperature of 60. Um, I did use a little bit of support material on this one because underneath the little tab here, underneath the little tab here, there it's a gap. So you have to put a little bit of support material there, but that's the only place it puts any. All right, so there we go. As you can see, this says it's going to take three hours and 36 minutes, 18.58 meters of material or 55 grams. Um, the center wheel takes about four hours and the cover takes about three hours and the weight's pretty close to about 60 grams on all of them. <clears throat> all right guys, so let's save this off to the printer, hit, get the printer heated up and get her printing. guys here's the finished product um, I did go on a cruise with these uh, I do know that I do need to make some modifications to the model after going on the cruise so the first half of the video we shot before I went on the cruise and this is shot after I after I returned from the cruise 
Um, I did go on the cruise with a total of 11 people, and we had a total of six cabins. So there's a total of six different signs, and they all look different. And they all say something different. We are going to go through all the signs real quick. I do warn you, some of the stuff is a little risque. Um, some of my friends have really bad sense of humors. So, um, sorry if it offends anybody. Hopefully it won't. But I do want to show you these. These are really cool. They look really nice. They came out well. I did have issues with them sticking to the door. So I'm going to have to make the magnets, uh, the space for the magnets go bigger. The magnets need to be stronger. Uh, the problem was, is on some of the ships, the, the doors are smooth. The ship we were on, we were on the Carnival Magic, and the doors have like wallpaper on them, and it has a texture to it, and because of that, it didn't stick well enough. So we did have some issues there, but as you can see, I'll go through the door signs so you can see them, all the different sayings. The cool part about this project is, is with a vinyl cutter, which is what I use to put everything on here, um, I was able to make them look completely different from each other and make them completely unique so every sign is unique on, on its own. So these worked really well. I uh, got a lot of comments on them on board. People loved them. And it really helped know what was going on on a cruise ship. If you've never been on a cruise with a large party, it's really hard to know whether where people are, if they're in their rooms, if they're out and about, if they're in their room and they want you to knock, or if they're in the room and they don't want you to knock. Um, it gets really weird. I mean, there are times where you're in your room, you don't want to put your do not disturb sign up because if you do, they won't deliver breakfast to you in the morning if you've ordered it or whatever. So you don't put it up, but your friends find out you're in your room and they start knocking on your door. Well, you want stuff to tell them not to come do that. Or you want to tell them, hey, you're welcome. Come wake me up or whatever. So that's what these do is these give you different ways to say things. And we did, I did have a lot of fun making these. As you can see, I've done it a couple different ways. And the nice part is you notice on a lot of these, the wheel and the back, the cover and the wheel don't match. They're different colors. It made them unique. Plus all the different sayings that were on them. Made it very unique. All right, guys, there's that. Now, I do realize that we have reached 1,000 subs. Woohoo! We finally got there. I am going to do a 1,000 sub giveaway. I don't know for what yet. Um, I'm still trying to find something that I think is cool enough to print out and give away. Um, hopefully, I will have that out Thanksgiving week, the video on that. Um, we will get a video out on R2-D2 again after uh, Thanksgiving, before Christmas. I'll have another video out. I'm hoping to get two more out on R2-D2 before the end of the year. Um, I've got a lot going on. Um, I've got more vacation coming up. I've got a lot of stuff going on at work. Um, it's an interesting time of year. So I'll get as much done as I can. I will get another video out to y'all uh, next week, just before Thanksgiving. Um, and then hopefully one just before December or the first week of December, something like that. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, have a great day.